Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Wait, what? But our vendor hasn't shown uh, the booze order. Oh, do you have, have to pick up some supplies for us? Uh, let's let's see if I have the time. Where's where's this guy? Wait, he's all the way down there. I I might be able to pick it up. Cause it's, I'm I'm better than Enterprise Rent a Car. Uh, where I want to see where the this next like off road race is though. Um, that was that, that didn't unlock a new one unless it, it's like a new truck one. Yeah, there's another truck race. Balls. I'm guessing that's probably going to be the last one. It's inside the windmill fields. Windmill fields. I can never get the F sound enough on it, but um. I could do property management, or I could do more racing. <laughs> um, I think I might actually do the property thing for once. For once, I will save the day. Because also, I don't think I've actually done one of those before, like, at all. Or if I have, I don't think I recorded it. So, you know what? It is time. Time for something different and amazing. As long as I actually get some sort of vehicle. Or I'll just phone another taxi. When in doubt, beat it out. And and grab a taxi. Yeah, there's just like a train going by there. I have some bad memories with trains. Oh, man. I personally don't like trains. Because they do whatever, just like... I go around this area. I get shot at. Oh, okay, so that is the taxi. I was wondering, because like... There's a taxi just driving by, like, from a really weird angle, and I was... I was scared. I was very scared. It's, it's dangerous at night around here. Please go to my waypoint. That's all I care for. I imagine if you could do that in real life, just saying, like, um... I have this waypoint on Google Maps, apparently, that I want to be going to. Can you just go to my waypoint? And they're just like, um... No clue where that is, but okay, sure. There you go. Oh, wow. This is a big old truck. Deliver the booze to the bar before the time runs out. Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be a mission and a half. I'll do it, though. Okay. Oh, damaged goods, so you have to be careful not to hit anything. Even though, if I turn corners very fast, wouldn't it technically still, like, damage the goods, pretty much? Because of the fact that, you know... These trucks are supposed to be nice and slow that you go whenever you're driving them. You don't want to be reckless. Unless you're Canada Post. If you're Canada Post, you can do whatever you want. You can throw packages. I mean, they've been caught on camera doing that. Or maybe that was the American Postal Service. I don't know. I think it was probably the Canadian one because Canada Post, as we all know, is terrible. <laughs> it's absolutely dreadful. No. Oh, look. We're going on to, like, Route 69 or whatever it is. Because it's not 66. Because that's, like, the the famous thing in the US, but they had like Route 68, I think that's what it is. Oh, this is so very tempting to kill all of these lost bikers. Oh! Okay, so I guess they were trying to do that to me. Uh, and trying to damage my goods. But no, I'm not damaged goods. They are. I am. I'm just absolutely perfect the way I am. Ow. Please, sir, get out of the way. I just wanted to check behind me because. I have a feeling those motorcyclists, in the way of the Lost, Trevor has a bad reputation with the Lost. If if they ram into me, they probably will, uh, I will ram into them. I mean, by default, because I mean, I have a bigger vehicle than them, yes. But they also uh, will keep going after me until uh, the day that I die. Which will be, if I don't get these goods to my bar in time, they might just straight up shoot me in the face. Or kick me in the face, like those people that will go unnamed because I don't know their name. That's that's the main reason, or else I would name them, actually. Oh, and still, of all the places, that, like for weighing to weighing, I could be weighing my truck on the scales right now if I wasn't going this direction. But like, I don't know why they would choose for like the waypoint to go this way. It would be so much easier if I would have gone on to the highway. I mean, it, it looks... It's not a straight line. No. 
but I mean it is still a little bit faster than going through like all these weird winding paths which oh I think yeah I do actually have a bit of damage because it's hard to see oh no oh 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 boy okay yeah, I was I was thinking that a, a, a bit of things would get damaged from that still have all the places to go I'm still dragging that deer okay along with your beer you'll get some deer it rhymes, so uh, you better be happy with what you get. Okay. This is such dangerous paths. If this was a highway, I probably would have been there by now. But oh well. They'll at least get, like, 80% of what they want, or I'll get nothing to them. Oh, this is such a bad idea taking shortcuts. But I have to. If I don't take a shortcut, we'll all lose. Oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I think I'm gonna lose either way for this. Yeah, I have, like, nothing. <laughs> if only I would've known. Actually, I did know, kind of, in a way. I, I should've just taken the highway. That's just, like, a lesson to everybody in the world, basically. Whenever you don't take the highway for something, you're screwed. It's really bad. At least... Hey, but if nothing else... Like... 16% of uh, the beer that they were asking for in their order is better than 0%. <laughs> At least still, that's that's what Canada Post thinks. Even though they wouldn't be like delivering this kind of beer things, but they... Yes and no. <laughs> Three seconds early. There you go. Hey, don't make me call the cops. Hey, I, I'm doing my job. Hey, asshole, I'll call the cops. Oh, no, you don't. You're not phoning anybody. <laughs> See, I think that like there is like a, a kind of thing like that in Watch Dogs. They're just like if somebody's phoning the cops, you can just you have, if you just take them out, then like the cops never appear. What? It does this. I think they may have gotten that from GTA. Maybe I don't know. But I just like that you can do that in GTA. And I guess I'll probably like that whenever I get around to playing Watch Dogs. Uh, I don't know. All I know is I need to go to this uh, weapon store and buy myself carbine ammo. <laughs> like, really badly. Okay, now I don't think I'm gonna be running out of uh, ammo anytime soon. At least for the carbines, which is always a good thing. But I'm still very much wanting to do... the wind... the wind race. The race of wind. Mobile, that is. Because they're not very good. <laughs> and that's why you have to race for them. Man, I just... I just love the the direction that I went through, like, Fort Sankudo. I'm just like, oh, no, ah! And I just kept, like, going around in circles. I make a beautiful A shape. Because I am one of the Avengers. Well, I think it's time for another taxi. I just still just absolutely love the taxis exist in this game, because I am so lazy when it comes to driving. So, I mean, it is... It's fun to drive around. At least for the first, like order of the game, or like first half. After that point, it's basically all taxis all the time. <laughs> for the way I play. Unless I was playing this like on my own, I probably, like without actually filming, I probably would be doing only driving, because that's what I like to do. I like to waste my time. If anybody likes to waste my time, it has to be me. That's gonna bite me. Um, I think this might be the- t oh wow, the taxi just appeared out of nowhere! I, I think we might need to have a slow-mo action replay on that. Or something, cause that was- You just turned one- No, 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 no you don't! What? Come on! Okay, I needed to phone another taxi then. Unless I can go and catch up to that one. But he just appeared out of nowhere. And I think he just, just disappeared into nowhere. Unless... You cannot despawn from me! Hopefully, it's actually a decent vehicle that I'm driving here, even though it is an SUV of sorts. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Well, looks like I'll have to just block off the road and take a taxi. Phone him yet again. Let's see how long it takes before this uh, truck goes, like, insane and tries to, like, kill everybody. It's gonna happen, and then I'll, I'll phone the cops on him. That's the way I do things. 
Oh. Oh, that's very nice of you, Taxi. You just appeared right in the nick of time. So this guy's gonna go on a murderous rampage. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Cool. Vamos, let's go! <laughs> yeah, if you say that we're gonna go there fast, I mean, you have to you have to keep going, not just sit around and do nothing. See, that's what he was doing. He was waiting for the traffic to move on the left side, which would never happen, and also he was doing an illegal U-turn in the middle of the road anyway. Highly illegal. The, the utmost of illegalities. It's even more legal than uh, what the, the guys in Breaking Bad do with the meth 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 Yes, that's, that's, that's the way you're supposed to say it. Hello there, uh, could I buy some of your meth 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 I make a grand entrance. Also, that taxi kind of hey, made a grand en for? entrance by killing these people almost. Okay, we night race. race or what? Yes. We're the midnight club of the wind. The it makes sense, trust me. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna say that Trevor is a better driver. Oh, that's what I should have done when I was being Franklin. When I was doing his races, I should have been, like, well, when I was doing the off-road with, uh, the SUV ones. I totally should have just used his, like, bullet time with driving. His driving time! Oh, wow. Can I restart? <laughs> I'm, oh, well, I'll just have to, like, learn the ways of the SUVs. And once, once you learn the ways of the SUV, you, then, you will know the way. I think that was probably my worst uh, accent that I've done, at least of that old man that I've done in a while. I need to get practicing. Damn. Gotta get cracking. Because it's like eggs. I still, like, I don't know if anybody has commercials like that in the rest of the world, but for some reason, where I live in Canada here, they might, I don't, I don't even know if they have it in other places of uh, Canada. I need to look at the, like, the stations and... Ottawa or Winnipeg or something, I don't know. But, they have commercials for eggs. Why is that a thing? I don't understand. They're just like, Bye. nobody nobody eats enough eggs nowadays. Eggs are so good for you. So then, like, it's like egg companies, I guess, have to, like, have s special ads saying, like, here, eggs are delicious. You should be eating them. They're good for your energy. I still don't understand it, but there's, like, a, there's been a lot less egg commercials recently, but... They still... Those egg guys are really... Aggressive on making you want to eat them. Cause I mean, there's always like people are just going, Ugh, oh, I'm working out, but I just don't have any energy. You should eat eggs. <laughs> if only the commercials were like that straight up. You should eat eggs. Get cracking. I'm pretty sure that that is like the slogan though. Get cracking. Get crack a lacking. And so on. Oh yeah. But I think I might actually win this. Trevor's just better with off-road, that's what I gotta say. Franklin doesn't know how to drive on dirt. So, I mean, that's what happens, I guess. That might actually be a thing, sort of, for the people that are in real life that... You know, if you drive in the city for, like, your entire life and then you, like, go and drive on a dra gravel road, apparently driving on gravel roads are difficult? I, I don't know why. I guess that you slide a little bit on some, but... For the most part, it's no problem. Also, I think I was driving a Jeep that time. That's why I won. Jeeps always win the SUVs. And I just proved it. Eco-friendly. That's a good name for the race. I was being very eco-friendly. Oh, wow, that was that was a close call there. Is anybody? I'm really amazed that none of those actually hit any of those vehicles. Oh, what? I, I thought that Trevor's driving was higher than that. I thought it was actually up to 100. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this. No, maybe not. His flying is nearly 100. His stamina for sure is, because, I mean, it goes up to 100, like, each time I play. <laughs> I think, yeah, like, Trevor has the highest stats of everybody, though. Because that's just how he rolls. That's how he rolls. Oh, I think I finished all the off-road races now. Nice! Because I did, like, the two truck ones. And then I, uh... I did all the Bodo ATVs. Okay. So that means that I just have, like, a few boat races, and I'm done races in general. So I have three races for boats. Not too bad. I mean, I am really amazed at that. 
But according to, like, Franklin has two missions now, though. That is weird. I think that maybe those two missions are dealing with uh, that one guy that, like, Barry. Barry and his Empoleon, which, I mean, it's not really a real Empoleon. It's just he's hallucinating. That's why he thinks that he has Pokemon. Oh, man, I just cracked the code. It's It makes sense now. Everything makes sense. So very much sense. But I, I think, yeah, I am... I've been doing a lot of races actually at the end of this. I, at least I did a couple mission things today, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do this C race because I'm really close to it. Like I'm really close. This is the closest I've ever been in my entire life. The closest I've been to a C race, and I want it. Actually, I think I should, probably should put a waypoint on it just not to follow on the road, but I mean just so I know like which direction it is because I can't I can't see it from this far out. My I need to upgrade my vision. My vision purposes, and so on, in the ways of tanks. Always with the tanks. That's a very nice the uh, smokestack you have there. <laughs> I don't know, but always industries. Oh! Oh, I was hoping I can get a perfect barrel roll in there. Oh, well, at least I can do some perfect and in cat terms. No quotations, obviously, no, no. It's all about cats. Oh wow, this thing's, this thing's pretty beat up just from that couple of uh, spins there. I'm disappointed. The, the quality of this Jeep is subpar. I, I need to take, I need to like bring it back to the Jeep company. I guess that's who makes Jeep. But isn't Jeep also like an association with like some other uh, like company for Moto Cross? <laughs> I, I don't know. But that's that's what I think. I I totally when I bought the vehicle, I was told uh, says satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. So I want my money back and or a new vehicle, preferably both and also. They need to get me some ice cream to make up for that one time that I had to uh, horribly torture that one poor defenseless man. Okay, I okay, I'm really close to this place. I thought that I was, but I wasn't too sure. It's difficult to tell. It's as always difficult to see the future is. Oh! I was also Yoda going like freaking out because that's what he does. When he's fighting. Okay, I'm gonna have, I'm just gonna walk from here. I must have put the handbrake on. Cause it's not sliding down the hill. It was sliding before I got out, but Trevor he he knows how to park vehicles properly. He uses uh, like some of those sticky traps that you use to like catch flies. I think they catch flies with them, or maybe that's mouse that's like mice that you catch. Whatever. He put a bunch of like sticky goo all over the ground, and he's just like, yeah, look, look at me, my tires are stuck now. Why does this have to be out in the middle of the water? I guess they just expect you to have like a, a sea-bearing vessel to get into here, but I don't know. Instead, I'll just, I'll just be singing under the sea while playing with the fishes. Cause under the sea. Under the sea, we have fish AI. It's so much better than playing COD because it's GTA. <laughs> and fish AI is better here. But then again, like, you, you should have pretty good fish AI if you're, your name is called Call of Duty. So, which is simplified down to COD. CODs are good at AI. Oh, so you have to actually climb on to start. Who oh, am I only gonna have like two opponents? Okay, three opponents? Okay. I'll be fine with that. Oh. Oh! Listen to that song! That's that- what- Which one is that? Oh, this- Oh, I know what song this is. This song was, uh... Even though you won't be able to hear it anymore, because like the... The S- SSFX SSX as in we're going to be going down the hill using snowboards 
but this is like the song that was in the very last trailer before GTA 5 came out. Oh man, that was such a good ta- that like, I'd say it's even better than good. It's- it is great! Just like how, uh, the tiger, uh, what's that guy's name again? Sugar Bear. Sugar Tiger. It's just how Sugar Tiger foretold that- how good it is. I- I don't actually- I really don't remember that guy's name. Tony the Tiger, okay. From now on, he's gonna be called Sugar the Tiger, though. Let's Sugar the Tiger, we're gonna just pour sugar all over the tiger, and... If he likes it, he does. If he- if he doesn't, then... Oh well. <laughs> oh! That was- that was a bad maneuver there, but... At least they all had a bad maneuver, it looks like. Because I just went soaring past them all. So, I mean, this is kind of, like, supposed to, this is supposed to be, supposedly, the easiest of the wave races, so... So, I mean, it was one out of four. But, hey, look at that. No problem. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. You know why? Because I'm listening to the song. Because maybe we are just sleepwalking. Who knows? This could all be a dream. Or a hallucination by Barry. That guy's gonna be haunting your old everybody's dreams. Gonna be haunting my dreams, haunting your dreams, haunting the AI system's dreams, and uh, Stephen Harper's dreams for some reason. <laughs> because it's not a cat. You see that trick there? That was pro tricks. See, that is almost uh, like approved by SSX, actually. Ow. Also, I'm surprised at, like, how good, like, of, uh, speakers and, like, uh, radio systems they have on Wave Racers. Because I don't think they really have much of that in real life, but... Yeah, I think this is a good place to be ending for now. I got a couple missions done. I got a lot of races done yet again. Once I'm done all the races, though, just think about that. Once I'm done all the races, and, like, all of those things... So what's that noise? Then, like... I'll just be doing missions non-stop, pretty much, so, yeah, that's, that's gonna be a good thing, I guess, and a bad thing. What's happening over here, though? Is this just the water splashing up, or what? I, I must be. Okay. But yeah, that is it for now, and I will see you next time. For the, all of that, and more. All that and more. Goodbye for now. Oh! I'd say that was like an 11 out of 12 for the jump. So brilliant. It's all because of iFruit. The brilliance of iFruit.